In this update, we have a look at the tropical cyclones Trevor and Veronica. And here's the latest from the Bureau of Meteorology. Cyclone Trevor is expected to rapidly re-intensify as it moves over the eastern Gulf of Carpentaria tonight. The warning zone is Pawpaw to Cape York and watch a zone Nunnum Boy to the Northern Territory of Queensland border and Koayama to Pawpaw. And here's a, an example of the rainfall that is continuing across the Cape York uh, region the Bureau of Meteorology has issued a severe weather warning for destructive winds and heavy rainfall. F heavy rainfall continues over parts of the Cape York Peninsula with possibly or possible destructive wind gusts about the coast. And Trevor, Category 1, sustained winds in the centre, 65 kilometres an hour, with wind gusts at 95 kilometres an hour, located 30 kilometres to 13 degrees east, 141 decimal 9 degrees east, estimated to be 40 kilometres south of Reaper, 600 kilometres east of Alangula. Slow moving, Trevor remains located over land near Arakeen and is currently slow moving as mentioned. It's expected to move offshore over eastern Gulf of Carpentaria overnight where it's expected to rapidly re-intensify to a Category 2 cyclone and a Category 1 on the Sanford Simpson hurricane scale. Now here's the uh, area under the uh, Bureau of Severe Weather Warnings. Six hourly rainfall totals between 140mm to 180mm likely within the warning area during Wednesday or the remainder of today. Heavy falls will potentially continue into Thursday though this is dependent on the movement of tropical cyclone Trevor and locations which may be affected. Current Musgrave, Hope Vale, Law damage to the locally destructive wind gusts possible about the coast adjacent inland south of Cohen with thunderstorms and at the uh, time of doing this uh, update BI Meteorology has issued a severe thunderstorm warning however Trevor will intensify further as it adopts a more general west-southwest movement across the Gulf of Carpentaria. It's likely to cross the Northern Territory coast during Saturday as a Category 4 or Category 3 on the Sanford Simpson hurricane scale. Gales with gusts in excess of 90 km an hour occurring near the centre of the cyclone and are expected to extend to areas between Cape York and Port Wall tonight, including Arakoon and Reaper, as the cyclone moves offshore and intensifies. Destructive winds gusts in excess of 130 km may develop between Reaper and Arakoon joint tonight as the cyclone intensifies. Gales may further extend south to Koyama, Western Cape York Peninsula coast during Thursday night as the cyclone intensifies. And they've also got a, uh, information indicating a storm tide may also occur. And this is another look at the Reaper radar and you can clearly see what's going on and the Bureau of Meteorology has in place a uh, local severe thunderstorm warning. They have a gale warning in place for the northeast Gulf of Carpentaria for the remainder of today along with a strong wind warning. Southeast Gulf of Carpentaria, the Torres Strait, the Peninsula Coast. Now we have a look at some of the uh, tracks. 
And for Thursday, Hurricane Force wind warning for the southeast Gulf, northeast Gulf of Carpentaria. And a strong wind warning will be in place for the Torres Strait and the Peninsula Coast. Now we have a look at the NOAA flighters on the system. And the flood watch remains in place for catchments north of Innisfail to Kawayama. Flooding is likely across the flood watch area over the next few days associated with the movement of tropical cyclone Trevor. And tropical cyclone Trevor across the East Cape York Peninsula on Tuesday afternoon, bringing heavy rain up to 302 millimetres in the coastal area in the 24 hours to 9am. And shortly we'll have a look at tropical cyclone Veronica who has also intensified and the Bureau of Meteorology's Perth office Category 2 system, upper level divergence for both systems remains very healthy. The latest wind shear. And a little bit of uh, strong wind shear to the north of Veronica, 24 hour shear tendency. And you can clearly see where tropical cyclone Trevor is located at 850 millibar vorticity. Tropical cyclone Veronica has intensified as a category two. And here's a look at the latest from the Bureau. Tropical cyclone Veronica intensified as mentioned to a category two system potential for a severe impact along the Pilbara case over the weekend and at this point in time there's only the watch zone, part two, the Mardi including Port Head and Karatha. And here's a look at the first track chart I had an idea that the Bureau might uh, issue a advisory early. Uh, they indicated uh, this morning uh, there wouldn't be any impact for 48 hours, but it's really intensified. Category 2 and looks like it's going to be a Category 4, Category 3 on the Simpson or Sephra Simpson Hurricane uh, scale. And it's turning out to be a very busy time for the, the team. And unfortunately, the NOAA flight is, and the motion is uh, experiencing technical issues. So I've had to uh, resort to the still images. And I'm uh, hearing that evacuations are now underway on the western side of the Gulf of Carpentaria due to tropical cyclone Trevor. I think it's about uh, 1,700 people have had to evacuate and storm surge is going to be an issue. And we'll have regular updates on both systems and what's making other tropical news you can follow force 13's outlets the website force13.com our youtube page youtube.com forward slash force 13 on facebook under the same name force 13 and our twitter handle it's at force 13 if you wish to get in touch you can also add Force 13 on Skype 
and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.